The Taipei Water Supply System, centered around Taipei City, includes parts of new Taipei City such as Sanchong, Zhonghe, Yangha, Xindian, as well as Hunka Village in Shiji District and seven other villages. It is interconnected with the pipeline system of Taiwan Water Corporation and regularly supports areas like Banqiao, Luzhou, Xinjuang, Tamsui, Sanji, Shiji, and Xinqing in New Taipei City. With the completion of the first phase of the Banqin Area Water Supply Improvement Project, it further supports Bali, Wugu, Taishan, and parts of Tuching. The second phase will expand support to Shulin, Inga, Sanxia, and Tuching in the Banqin area, forming the largest metropolitan public water supply system in northern Taiwan. The water distribution network spans over 3,000 kilometers. The Xindian River is the main headwater for the Taipei metropolitan area, covering the Nansha River and Baisha River tributaries, with catchment areas in Shiding, Xindian, Pinglin, Wulai, and Shuangxi, providing over 97% of the water for the Taipei metropolitan area. In 1907, a water intake point was established at the lower reaches of the Xindian River, and in 1908, a pump room was completed to supply the Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant. In 1946, a second intake point near the original Xindian River intake point was established, and two additional pumps were added in 1949. Rapid sand filtration equipment was installed in 1952. Water from both intake points at the Xindian River is directed to the Gongguan Water Distribution Well. Apart from supplying the Xindian River Water Purification Station, it also supports the first phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan, which began in 1962 and was completed in 1965. A 1.4-meter 1 diameter, 2,500-meter long raw water pipe was constructed to deliver water to the Chanchu Mountain Water Distribution Well, providing water to the newly established Chanchu Mountain Water Purification Station to meet the planned water supply for 1.18 million people in 1965. In 1971, to support the second phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan, another 1.4-meter diameter raw water supply channel was added from the Gongguan Water Distribution Well to the Chanchu Mountain Water Distribution Well, increasing the headwater for the Chanchu Mountain Water Purification Station. Additionally, in 1965, Taiwan Power Company added two vertical rising sluice gates at the Tsuchi were to divert water for the Shaochukung hydropower plant. The tailwater from peak power generation was also used to supply the Qingtan Weir for the water purification station, meeting the planned water supply for 1.55 million people by 1971. In coordination with the third phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan, the Qingtan Weir was completed in 1976. It features two water intake points and utilizes a 3.2-meter diameter tunnel and open channel, stretching 8.9 kilometers, to channel water into the Chanchu Mountain Water Distribution Well, supplying the Changxing Water Purification Station. Additionally, a new 2-meter diameter culvert and tunnel, 2.07 kilometers long, were added, along with the existing two 1.4-meter diameter pipes, to transport water to the Gongguan Water Distribution Well, serving the newly constructed Gongguan Water Purification Station. In 1978, the Jitan Dam was completed to supply raw water to the Jitan Water Purification Station, meeting the planned water supply for 2.68 million people. In coordination with the first stage of the fourth phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan, the third water purification facility at the Changxing Water Purification Station was built in 1972. The latter phase of the project, completed in 1987, saw the construction of the Feisui Reservoir downstream of Baisha River. This reservoir, in conjunction with the water source from Nansha River, was utilized to regulate and supply water to the Gongguan, Changxing, and Jitan Water Purification Stations. Due to the decreasing water level of the Xindian River, a new water intake point was established in 1946, 28 meters upstream from the original intake point at the lower reaches of the river. By the early 1960s, this new water intake point became less effective as the river level continued to drop, 
leading to the construction of the raw water pumping station in 1964. Additional water pumps were gradually added to meet the water supply needs. The raw water pumping station is constructed of reinforced concrete, caisson foundation infrastructure design. The building is divided into two levels. The upper level houses the pump room, originally equipped with five high-power raw water pumps, and later 11 smaller horsepower motors were added. The lower level is the water pipe room, with a side room for the electrical distribution control panel room. After its retirement in 1976, the station was listed as a historic building and is currently being renovated to become a Riverside Scenic Restaurant. Located on the Xindian River at Xiaochukeng, upstream of the Chuking Power Plant and downstream of the Bitten Scenic Area, Qingtan Weir was commissioned in 1976. It is a gate-controlled floating concrete weir. The gate section of the weir is 69.6 meters long, divided into six openings by six 1.6 meter thick bridge piers, each opening being 10 meters wide. The non-gate section is 128 meters long, making the total length of the were 197.6 meters. It has an effective regulation capacity of 70,000 cubic meters, with the highest regulation water level at 22.6 meters. The Qingtan Weir is equipped with a water intake point, with a daily capacity of 1.08 million cubic meters, and a raw water diversion pipe that is 11,119 meters long. The Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant was completed in 1909. Due to insufficient water supply from the Slow Sand Filtration Plant, a rapid sand filtration plant was constructed adjacent to it in 1951 and completed in 1952. It was renamed the Xindian River Water Purification Station. A new water intake point was also established near the original intake point at the lower reaches of the Xindian River, with water being directed to the purification station through a pump room. The added facilities included one coagulation basin, two sedimentation tanks, and four rapid sand filters. The station had a daily output of 20,000 cubic meters, supplying domestic water to the Taipei City Walls area. In 1974, the slow sand filtration plant was decommissioned and demolished, and the site was rebuilt as the Gongguan Water Purification Station, which utilizes rapid sand filtration for water purification. In 1976, following the completion of the Qingtan Weir, the Gongguan Water Purification Station added a rapid sand filtration facility with a daily distribution capacity of 480,000 cubic meters. The Gongguan Water Purification Station's facilities include a distribution well, four flash mixers, eight coagulation basins, eight sedimentation tanks, 14 rapid sand filters, a backwashing water tank, a chemical control room, and four clean water reservoirs. The station has a daily raw water purification capacity of 520,000 cubic meters and a designed output of 480,000 cubic meters, supplying domestic water to Zhongjing, Wanhua, and Wenshan districts of Taipei City. By 1958, Taipei's population had exceeded 800,000, and the water supply was only about half of the normal demand. Considering the limited water quantity and distribution distance of the water supply system, the Water Supply Construction Committee was established to plan long-term water supply projects. The first step was to plan a new Chanchu Mountain Water Purification Station at Changxing Street at the foot of Chanchu Mountain. The Chanchu Mountain Water Purification Station was built in three phases, with planned facilities including three water purification units, Shui in Phase 1 East and West, Shui in Phase 2 East and West, and Shui Ping East and West. In 1965, the first water purification unit was completed with a daily output of 200,000 cubic meters. In addition, the first phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan includes the construction of three deep wells, three large elevated distribution reservoirs, and the installation of over 300 kilometers of new water supply and distribution pipelines, extending the supply area to include Sancheng, Shirlin, Yangha, Zhonghe, Gingmei, Xindian, and Musa.
In 1968, the second phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan commenced with the expansion of the Chonchu Mountain Water Purification Station. By 1971, the second water purification unit was completed, along with a check dam, raw water pumps, water diversion pipes, water distribution pipes, and deep wells. In addition to supplying Sanchong, Shirlin, Yangha, Zhenghe, Gingmei, Xindian, and Musa, the service area was further expanded to include Nehu, Nangang, Shirlin, and Beitou. The third purification facility was constructed in 1972 as part of the first stage of the fourth phase of the Taipei Water Supply Expansion Plan and was completed in 1977, subsequently renamed the Changxing Water Purification Station. The facility includes six coagulation basins, 18 sedimentation tanks, nine rapid sand filters, for clear water reservoirs, and two flash mixers. The first and second purification facilities each had a design processing capacity of 200,000 cubic meters per day, and the third facility had a capacity of 240,000 cubic meters per day, with a total design processing capacity of 640,000 cubic meters per day, supplying domestic water to Don and Sini districts of Taipei City. The Taipei Metropolitan Area Water Supply System, which started over 100 years ago serving 120,000 people, has developed to the point where it now supplies water to 6 million people in the Taipei metropolitan area. Over time, to ensure a sufficient and clean water supply, water intake points were initially set up in the lower reaches of the Xindian River and gradually moved upstream with the construction of weirs, leading to the building of the Feisui Reservoir to regulate the water supply for the water purification stations. The main water purification stations in the Taipei metropolitan area currently are the Changxing Water Purification Station, Gongguan Water Purification Station, and Jitan Water Purification Station. The previous episode introduced the water purification stations from the Japanese colonial period. This episode covers the Qingtan Weir, Gongguan Water Purification Station, and Changxing Water Purification Station, and the next episode will introduce the Feisui Reservoir, Jitan Weir, and Jitan Water Purification Station. The Jitan Water Purification Station currently supplies 70% of the water for the Taipei metropolitan area, and the Feisui Reservoir is an important water resource development to ensure a stable water supply for the Taipei metropolitan area until 2030. It needs to be properly maintained, and its resources should be cherished and utilized effectively.